Camperino, welcome back. Off the wall, Paul here, and we're on day six of our adventure. Talking about day six of creation, the animals. God filled the animals. Look at this huge duck, looks like a mallard. Maybe I'll become his friend. What else we see? Oh, it's a monkey. Wow, that thing is huge. Wow, I bet he can climb these trees. Maybe he can become my pet and my friend. Oh, look, it's a silver fox. Wow, that thing is big. He's huge. Oh no, look, up here. Oh, run. Ah. Okay, well, I tried to make him look big, you know, because bears are big and ducks are, well, they're bigger than that. But I use what I got because that's what Jackie T gave me. She also gave me this weird thing. It's uh, a mirror. I don't know. Let's see, uh, you know, just this thing and I don't know. It's uh, kind of weird, but I don't really know what it's for. An animal and mirrors. Hmm. What's this? Can I eat it? Hmm. I don't know. Jackie T, what's this for? Aqua Bob might be a little confused on this one, so let me help you out, Camp Renovate. When you look into a mirror, what happens? You see yourself, or whatever's looking, right? Well, when Aqua Paul was looking into the mirror, that's exactly what I wanted him to see, his reflection looking back at him. When we look at day six, the big day of creation, not only did God create animals, but let's specifically look at what else he created. Genesis 1, verse 24. Let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offsprings of the same kind, livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And then look what happened in verse 25. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, small animals, each able to produce offsprings of the same kind. And God saw it was good. Okay, so, so cool that God created all the animals that walked the earth. Camp Renovate, what is your favorite animal? Shout it out, one, two, three. Those are cool animals. Each animal is unique and a part of God's wonderful creation. The part that Off the Wall forgot to mention is that the same day, day six, God also created us. God created humans. Now, there's something really special about when God creates us because it's different than everything else he created. Let's take a look in Genesis, what it says, verse 26. And God said, let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea and the birds of the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Did you hear that? In his own image, God created us to be just like him. He didn't do that for the animals or anyone else. He created us to reign over everything else he had created. God had done a lot of hard work the last few days. Then so many times in scripture, we see how God created each one of us to be unique and perfect in his image. When God created Adam and Eve, he knew what would come for that. He knew that it would be the start of the world. Later on, on day six, God looked at all of creation and he said, look, I have given you every seed bearing plant throughout the earth, all fruit trees for your food. And I've given you every green plant as food for the wild animals, the birds in the sky, and the small animals that scurry along the ground, everything that has life. And that's what happened. Then God looked over all he had made and he saw that it was very good. Every other day of creation, he said it was good. But after he created us, he said it was very good. The evening passed and morning came, marking the sixth day. Every piece of God's plan of creation was perfect. Like we talked about a few weeks ago, God knew that animals would need food, so he created vegetation and other animals. He knew that animals and plants would need someone to tend to them and take over, so he created humans. He also knew that humans would take hold of the mission to tell everyone about God. Day six is a big part of the story of creation. Now let's review, God created all types of animals and he created humans. He designed the role of humans to reign over the animals and to tell others about him. Our bottom line during this series is God created the world and everything in it for his glory. Say that with me, Camper David. One, two, three. God created the world and everything in it for his glory. I'll see you back next week for day seven of creation.